Hi, I'm Stephen Chaffee, Services Engineer with McNaughton McKay. In this video, I'll show you how to add a Zebra EA3600 handheld barcode scanner to an Allen Bradley Control Logics PLC via Ethernet IP. To begin, we launch the Zebra Industrial Ethernet Configuration Utility. We do so in order to set the IP address on the Zebra scanner. We can click the Connect button. If there's a device out there, it would show up as the MAC ID here. We would assign an IP address. Since we're not live here, it doesn't show up. Once I do so, I can launch Studio 5000 and I need to add the scanner to the IO configuration tree. I can select new module. I go over to the pane on the right for vendors, clear the filters, go down and select Zebra Technologies, and there I can select the EA3600. At this point, I would type in a name for the device and set the IP address. I've done this ahead of time, so I'm going to cancel this profile, and we can look back at the I.O. configuration tree to see how it's set up. So I double click on the scanner, and you can see it's set up as how we did earlier. We can set the RPI if we need to, and as you can see, it is live. Once we create this profile, the controller will establish tags in the tag database. You can see we call the scanner handheld. We have input array and an output array here. The one bit that we need to be aware of is the barcode transfer bit. This needs to be set to one to get information out of the scanner. Now the scanner is set up for a trigger on the handheld. If we wanted to make that automatic, we could set the start scan bit here and it would automatically trigger. Here you can see the status of the handheld. If we go all the way to the bottom, we have a data field. This is, once we scan a barcode, this is where our data will show up. Uh, and then we can use that information wherever we want to in our program. For additional questions or more videos like this, give us a call or visit our website.